I wanted to try something new and decided to create a sort of real-time chat app with Godot. So what I really needed for this project was Firebase, where I used its real-time database REST API service and Godot, where I made use of its control nodes for the front-end designs as well as its HTTP request nodes. I started with the front-end design for the login screen. I made an animation for the logo. I also made one for the login input forms and one for the button and one for when the input forms are activated or not. Once done, here's what it looked like. Over here I made the chat bubble scene. It has some awesome features like the arrow property for controlling the arrow's point direction as well as the color of the bubble. This is a way to show who sent the message, ourselves or someone else. The message property comes with some custom made responsivity that is affected by the amount of text and its line spaces. This took a long time to make and I'm not really sure it's perfect but anyways it works. And here we have the public chat room. I dragged in a few of the chat bubble scenes and changed their parameters. Now we have this when we run it. We also have the message input field and a send button at the bottom panel. Obviously the send button doesn't do anything but we'll get there in a bit. At this point, I started working on the retrieving of messages from the Firebase real-time database using the REST API and Godot HTTP nodes. I created some messages in the online database and implemented it so that when we change this into the public chat, it will first load the example local data and upon receiving the messages from the database, that is the online database, we will load that too. For code reference, here is the local data that is loaded in the public chat on the start. Here is the code that handles the retrieving of data from Firebase. And here is the Firebase's data response. Next, I finally added the authentication for logging in. Before, we were just changing scenes, but now we ask the online database if the user's reg number exists and if the password matches before changing scenes and then setting the local name and info to that user, kind of like what you call a session. I also implemented the sending and receiving of new and old messages, which was a bit complicated. I would like to explain it with this slide. To the left is the local database for the for the device, then to the, in the middle is the device's display, then to the right is the Firebase's database. So right now, there is nothing in the database, so literally nothing is going to happen. Let's assume another device sends in a message into the database, let's say a purple message, then we are asking the server to retrieve the data in there, but we do not display it directly onto the display of the device. Instead, we, comp we compare it using our um, difference, uh, our dictionary difference uh, um, function. Then the difference between the two, which is an empty and one purple data is the purple data. So then we can now display that as well as keep that into the local last request database. Then let's assume we still query the database with the same data that's still in the database. The difference or the um, dif the comparison between both of them will still give you the purple data and that's zero and nothing will happen. But let's assume a new data is set like, a, like, a, like an orange one that will give us the orange data only. Then we can put that back into our local last request database. This will continue until whenever the data is the same or you exit the app. Lastly, I made the registration scene using the same animations and designs from the login scene. I added functionalities like it shows an error if a registration number already exists in the database, that is it can create a duplicate. Then accepted details be added to the online database as well as the time of creation and the device used. I would lastly want to note that this is an unsecured chat application. Anybody with the link to the database can read and write to it without restriction. So please do not send sensitive information. In the description, you'll find links to the project source code as well as an Android APK build and perhaps a plain browser. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel for more stuff like this. Bye.